It's been more than a year since the Sewolho ferry sank, taking the lives of more than 300 passengers, most of them high school students. Had they survived the accident, many would have been taking the college entrance exam today, but only the 70 some survivors got to sit the test. On this exam day, Korea's Supreme Court upheld the murder conviction and life sentence for the captain of the ferry who fled a vessel without issuing an evacuation order to his passengers. Our Kim Min Ji has the latest. Life imprisonment for murder. Seoul's top court has upheld a lower court ruling for Lee Jun Suk, the captain of the ill fated Seoul ferry that sank last year, taking the lives of more than 300 people, most of them high school students. The Supreme Court ruled that E had committed willful negligence, saying that he fled the ship without giving an evacuation order. The Chief Justice said the captain could have warned the passengers about the situation, which in turn could have reduced the number of deaths, but he failed to do so, neglecting his duties as a ship's captain. Survivors of the fatal accident said E ordered passengers to stay put, even as he was one of the first to be rescued. The Supreme Court also upheld jail sentences for 14 members of E's crew, ranging from 18 months to 12 years. The Bree family shed tears as a verdict was read out. This conviction is the least that can be done to pay for the painful time we have gone through for the past one year and seven months. On April 16, 2014, a total of 304 people died when the Seoul ferry capsized off Korea's southwestern coast in one of the country's deadliest maritime disasters on record. Divers recovered 295 bodies from the ship's wreckage and surrounding waters, but nine victims are still missing. Shanghai Salvage, a Chinese state-run consortium, has been hired to handle the job of salvaging the Seoul ferry. The company is aiming to lift it onto a floating deck by early next year and have the vessel onshore by mid-2016. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.